it's Crystal with MrsHappyHomemaker.com and today I'm going to show you how to make cheesy buffalo ranch chicken dip in the crock pot with just five ingredients. So first we're going to start off with the chicken. I have about four cups of shredded chicken in this bowl. You can cook chicken and shred it. You can use leftover chicken or you can do like I did and go to the grocery store and get a rotisserie chicken. Shred it up and there you go. Now I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce or your favorite hot sauce. I'm a Frank's girl. One cup of ranch dressing. An eight ounce package of cream cheese that is at room temperature. And in this bowl I have two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to use half of it now and then half of it once this is done. That's the topping. And now I'm just going to stir that up and combine it. You can also stir it in a separate bowl and then put it in the crock pot, but I'm not out to do more dishes, so I'm going to mix it in the crock pot. Now, I am using a rectangle 9x13 crock pot, but you do not have to use the same kind of crock pot that I have. You can use any kind of crock pot that you would like to, and it will make the recipe the same. Now, I'm just going to cover this up with my lid and let this cook. Uh, you can cook it on high for about one to two hours, stirring every 30 minutes, and then at the end of cooking, putting the remainder of cheese on top. You can also cook it on low for three to four hours, stirring every 30 minutes, Ray remainder of cheese on top at the end. If you're short on time and just want it done in a hurry, you can cook it in the stove top. Put it all in a saucepan and let it cook on low until it's nice and bubbly and hot. You can cook it in the oven too. Just put it in a casserole dish and let it cook on 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, adding the cheese about halfway through the extra cheese on top. So it has finished cooking and smelling fantastic. I'm going to give it a quick stir. And now I'm going to sprinkle on the remaining cup of cheese. Just to melt. Put the lid back on and let it cook for just a couple more minutes just until that cheese melts on top. And that's it. You can serve it with tortilla chips if you like. My personal favorite is corn chips. I like the, the ones with little scoops in them. Get me some. Look at that cheese pull. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So easy, but so delicious. I hope that you try it out. I hope that you make it. I hope that you love it. And let me know what you think about it. If you like this recipe, then check out my blog, MrsHappyHomemaker.com. You can also find me on social media. I'm Mrs. Happy Homemaker on Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram. And I'm That Housewife on Twitter because Mrs. Happy Homemaker, well, it just wouldn't fit. Bye, y'all.